This summer, some of the bright young artists from Jacksonville performed on the national stage. Cathedral Arts Project is a local nonprofit that instills and inspires through arts education programs. And this morning, we're pleased to be joined by teaching fellows Joshua Stone and Jacqueline Peterson, as well as Jovan Michik, a student with Cathedral Arts Project. Guys, thank you so much for waking up early with us. Uh, Jacqueline, I understand you have uh, some support members as well, some of the dancers. I do, I do. I have Alea Crew, and also I have Sophia Sosa. Uh, well, ladies, thank you so much for coming in with us this morning. We appreciate your time. Uh, Jovan, I'll start with you on this one. What opportunities have you had by being a part of Cathedral Arts Project? Well, first of all, we took a trip to Harvard, so that's just let me travel, first of all, because without CAP, I wouldn't have been able to travel, and without CAP, I wouldn't have started playing violin at all, so that's some of the things CAP has helped me. What's through. your favorite part about the violin, and how long have you been playing as well? Uh, this is my 10th year of playing, and the favorite thing about violin is the final product. You spend a lot of time practicing, and then that final product is one of the most rewarding things you can get from pretty much anything. Well, so. very cool. And uh, just for our viewers, we're going to see some of that final product just in the next segment. They're going to have a performance right here live during First Coast News. Good morning, Jacksonville. Uh, Joshua, what's some of the growth that you've seen from students like Yovan and all the other from the assembled cast that we have coming up later? Yeah, so one of the best thing about CAP is just we start students at the elementary level like Jackie students here um, and they like Yovan started with me in the third grade and then they just grow and grow. Uh, we try to get them into different schools and some of them proceed, some of them don't. But we started the Cathedral Arts uh, String Works just specifically for students like Yovan and the others you'll see later. That way they can still stay, stay a part of CAP in middle school and high school and uh, just perform together. And then within that group, our quartet, like you said, went to Boston as part of the Christian International Music Competition. So seeing these students start at such a young age and just growing and growing like I've known Yovan for 10 years. So and just like these other students. So it's a really unique opportunity to have students that long because typically once they leave, well, they're somebody else's students and you probably never see them again. So it's just, that's the best thing about my job is just seeing these students for all of these years and again to continue working with them all the way through uh, high school and some of them even through college I still meet with regularly and stuff as our alumni group expands so it's just fantastic. Thing. Well I'm sure they're all very talented artists and students in their own right but uh, Jacqueline this has got to be a lot about fun as well. Um, how has the fellowship program really expanded your role as a teacher and an artist yourself? So with um, Cathedral Arts and the fellow, being a fellow, it is amazing because I can take my passion into the schools, in school and after school. So not only do I do after school with these young ladies, but I also have inter inter art integration, there you go, in schools. And so I take math and dance together so I can make it fun for the students and just hoping that they will grasp the information from the teacher and as well as science and dance and ELA as dance. So it is amazing for me to take my passion and my and and the what we're doing just to bring everything together so they can come to school and say I love going to school I love learning and so with that I am able to do that through Cathedral Arts. I'm fascinated by the combination of so many subjects with yeah. dance I understand with music you could have half notes whole notes and different sort mm -hmm. of math split up in that respect in what way could you kind of coordinate math with dance? So we can take our multiplication and so we always have eight counts we don't go no further than eight. <laughs> <laughs> so, you keep that reporter safe for your math there, I guess. <laughs> so eight counts. So we'll have three counts of eight, which is 24. So we just continue to just add on. Uh, once we have a full dance, you may have 164 movements, but we're talking about math. Also, I can do adding. I want to add three jumps and maybe three skips that give us six movements at all. So we just take that and we keep building up. And what I do, I make sure I coordinate with the teachers. And so with the teachers, they tell us the standard, we get together, we make sure they have movement with their math, and we begin to just bring that thing alive for them. Wonderful. Uh, Jovan, I'm curious, uh, being able to travel to Boston, be at Harvard for a performance like you were this uh, summer, what's it like being on the national stage? Did you necessarily know that that would be as grand as it is? And have you performed in other places like that? Um, I, the Harvard stage was a wonderful thing to experience, considering it's such an old historic school and it's an Ivy League school also. So. But the performing on the stage wasn't as grand of a adventure as like exploring Boston was. Cool. All okay. the inner parts of Boston, like the Chinatown part of Boston was really cool. 
and also the subway was awesome. <laughs> yeah, we don't have 100-year-old uh, subways here <laughs> no. in Jacksonville. Uh, Joshua, if anyone watching this at home is interested in learning more about Cathedral Arts Project, how can they go about doing that? Yeah, so Cathedral Arts Project has a lot of different programs through a lot of different areas, uh, not just dance and music, but arts, um, theater, theater, mm -hmm. a bunch of different things. So capkids.org is going to be our website, C-A-P, um, K-I-D-S.org. So you can go there and look at all of our different classes in our course catalog, and you'll be surprised how many different things that we mm -hmm. offer. Uh, there's just, and we're always adding uh, new teachers every single year, so it's just a really great way. We serve thousands of students every single year. Um, I forget the number off the top of my head, but it's several thousands that we serve every year. Well, guys, thank you so much, uh, Jovan, Joshua, and Jacqueline, as well as Jacqueline's support system. Uh, thank you all so much for waking up with us. And coming up after the break, the String Quartet Orchestra will perform here live on Good Morning Jacksonville. We're back right after this.